Uh, so we're here backstage at the Mumford Hall during the Leicester Comedy Preview Show here for 107.5 Demon FM and also Demon TV as well. Me and Jared. Hello. And I'm going to ask a few, few quick cheeky questions for you. Only if they are genuinely cheeky. Let's do it. So, obviously you're a New Zealander. Yes, obviously. I am. So what convinced you to move from a beautiful country like New Zealand yeah. all the way to the UK? Uh, to the beautiful UK. I think the UK is beautiful and you guys should stop running it down. Yeah. Actually, if you have more positive attitude towards your country, maybe your trains would fucking work. Um, anyway, uh, I came over for stand-up because, you know, I started in New Zealand in about 1998 and uh, there wasn't much of a scene down there. Uh, so by 2000, it was kind of like, mm, you know, I want to try and give this a proper go. So my options were moving to Australia and I didn't really want to do that. Um, or that, and then I found out I had a Brit could get a British passport. So I thought if I really want to have a go, I need to see if I can hang out with the big boys and girls. So I moved over here, and um, yeah, so stand up, stand up brought me here. Love made me stay. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. Well, so did you mean, sorry, did you, did you a, mean mortgage a mortgage and kids made me stay, and debt. Come on, so much debt. <laughs> To be honest, I would have given up comedy ages ago, but I'm just gotta pay the bills. Man, Go. feel, feeling you, bro, feeling you, bro, being a student. If you are gonna feel me, do it properly. Don't just, don't just talk the talk, mate. Good. Um, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, in. soft, isn't it? That is a very lush beard. But you've been in the UK, obviously, for, since 2003? 2000. 2000? God, it took me three years to get noticed. <laughs> Far out. So, 2000, so yeah. you've obviously been to a lot of comedy festivals and you've done like Reading and Leeds and I've done those ones. Download Festival as well. Did I do Download? Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. I'm just saying, what's it like getting like, into a heavy metal crowd? You know, oh, like, Sonosphere. So oh, Sonosphere. 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 Yeah, Sonosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did Sonosphere two years running and I'll be honest, the first time I did it I was pretty intimidated because, you know, I was looking out at a, about, genuinely, about 4,000 heavy metal fans and I'm not a fan of heavy metal music. I, look, I appreciate it it just doesn't sit well in my ears. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I get on stage and I can just see people in Slayer shirts. You know, and they don't, they kind of clap, but most of them are just going like that. And you're kind of going, I can't, I can't work with that. Um, but they're normal people who are just incredibly passionate about one type of music. And I love performing to people who are passionate because then that passion comes out in other ways and especially in enjoying things. And... It was one of the best crowds I've ever played to. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Really? What and I've played to, like, a crowd of hip-hop fans. Huh? Really? Yeah. 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 yeah, but they, when they laugh, they tend to add a beat to it. It's a bit weird. Mm. You know, they sort of laugh and they go, It's like, all right, guys. Too cool for school. I like it. Next question. Hit Next me. Next question. So, you know, in terms of, like, comedy festivals and getting up and coming like comedians up on the scene, yes. when you started, were they important to you? you know, of course, of course, and Lesser Comedy Festival has been very important to me right uh, right since I first started. Um, my first agent was based in Leicester and had a really good relationship with the Comedy Festival. So I think it was, my first appearance here was probably, it was, it was 2002. I don't think I've missed a year in 12 years coming up to Leicester. Really? Yeah. I love it. I love Leicester. It's great. It's multicultural. It's got some awesome ring roads, and your know, one-way system is to die for. Yeah, I love it. So in terms of, like you said you've been here for 12 years, coming 12, back, yeah. and you're back here February 20th and 21st? I am. Uh, 20th, I believe, is at, both gigs are at Firebug. Yeah. And uh, on the 20th I'm doing my solo show, and on the 21st, that's what follows it, um, I'm doing a double act with a beatboxer called Hobbit. Well, you know, obviously, there's the pop new life that's. I as well. know. Well, How many years ago? Were they? Fucking five years. Five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. But since. You got any up to date questions? I'm not trying to. No, 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 come no, on. No, that no, was no, five years. I've got one. We're leading up to it. We're leading up to it. I know I've got one, but yeah, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm hoping you're not sitting there going, but that was your heyday. No, bro. Pop no. noodle. I just, I just wanted to know since you, you did so much great work with pop noodle. Did you get pop noodle? Did you get pop noodle for life? Oh, no. No way. They off the first series of ads, the first series of ads, I'm picking it up like it's breaking bad. The first <laughs> couple of ads, the uh, the pot noodle rap, what a job. He uh, he said, you know, do you want, 
I can sort you out with some pot noodle. You know, a year's supply of pot noodle. And I said, well, to be honest, there'll probably be one and I wouldn't finish it. Um, so a year's supply or a lifetime supply of pot noodle, they'll be... It's like, dude, I want the job. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> now for the up-to-date question. Go on. Go on. There we me, go. Me, here we go. Oh, I want to see if this is true because I could embarrass myself here. Right. But here we go. Uh, you hosted a TV show called Monumental? I did. Is Northern that, Ireland. Northern yeah. Ireland. How did that go? That was fantastic. I got to work with some incredible comedians. Uh, Michael Smiley, who, if you don't know about Michael Smiley, you need to check, check him out. He's one of the best comics out there. Great sort of raconteur, storyteller, but also a real good gagsmith. But he's a fantastic actor. He's in loads of films. Yeah. Um, and uh, Andrew Maxwell, of course, and Jim Owen. You know, fantastic comics. Yeah. And um, uh, a newer Irish comic called Mickey Bartlett. Fantastic <laughs> dudes. And um, and then there was the the famous Northern Irish people on there who I didn't know any of them. Uh, apart from... The one who's married to Stephen Gerrard, Christina Brinkley, is that her name? Does anybody know? Stephen Gerrard's wife. Gerrard's wife? Any mm-hmm. Liverpool fans? Liverpool fans? Yeah, it's, it's a shame I'm a Liverpool fan, but I don't Are know. You? I don't know. Do you know Stevie G? Yeah, Stevie G, yeah. yeah. He's retired now, though, isn't he? He's going to LA Galaxy, man. Whoa. <coughs> America. Yeah, he's yeah. following the footsteps of Beckham. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I was going to cut you off your front. That was your last question, man. That was your last question. Was that my last question? That was your last question, yeah.